Wanna do 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 Wonder how close we are. Do 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 do. Wonder how much rain's gonna fall today. Cause that's kind of an exciting thing to follow in this game. At least to me. Do 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 do. You go locked in and live, ready and recording. Welcome back in, everybody, to the live stream let's play of Heavy Rain. And whence we last left you, a lot of things have developed. That web of shit is getting a little more tangled, but we're starting to, you know, untangle it a little bit. While it's getting piled on some, we're also finding some things out here. Now it says I'm on air, we're good to go. So whence we last left you, we had finished up with Madison finding Paco in his club or whatever, and, uh, yeah, I believe we have Nam and Jaden to start us off for this exciting episode. We'll see how long, uh, how much we can get going here. <clears throat> now, you should see Madison in the red walk right by Nam and Jaden. You should see her. Just the odd timing of all this shit. But let's see. He's walking in. Talks to this guy. I'm there she to goes. See Paco. Paco, there ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Yup. Are you absolutely certain? Are you fucking for He's sure? In his office. Take the stairs over there. Yeah, you don't be fucking with a fed named Naman. You. Scurvy, I didn't hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. Oh boy. I don't know what you're doing down there, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, man, I know you kept me out of prison and all, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paid. Hey, wait, oh, don't fuck around, man. No, 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 wait. I, I can still help you out. No, no don't keep me. Shit. So Paco just got aced. Right? Paco just got smizoked. Motherfucker, you know? Let's go. Don't bother knocking again. Don't bother. Motherfucker's gotta be in here, right? Unless there's another escape window. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, literally got aced right in the fucking head. Oh, boy. Mm, shit. Oh, he kind of saw it too, huh? <laughs> Quick time already. Who is that masked man? Oh, oh, mash, mash, mash. God damn, that always, that kind of sneaks up on me. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit! Woo! Jesus. Fuck. Oh, I missed that one. What? I thought I had that one. Did I get cut? Or maybe there was dude's blood. I don't think a human being flopping against the goddamn... I don't think that's gonna happen. Good old Stomperoo there. Where's motherfucker tough, yo? Motherfucker tough, yo! There you son of a bitch. Stand up with all of your mites. Now honestly, a human body would just falling into that aquarium is not gonna break it. That's gotta be so strong. 
Dude, get your Ari glasses. The fuck is wrong with you? Ask the guy where to fucking go. Did Paco know the guy came to see him? Sorry, I don't speak cop. Watch my lips, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Right. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. Let me guess, John Shepard. I go back for the Ari glasses. Or any kind of clues, something. Oh, we can't just leave this place. We we can't just do that. Dude's there, but there's he he came here somehow, some way. Put your fucking glasses back on, huh? These things I'm sure ain't cheap. I'm sure of it. Put them on, we gotta look for clues here. We've got to look for clues. Oh, wait. Oh, God, and there's wafting fucking Madison shit. Page. What was the journalist doing here? Journalist? I heard that, correct? Madison Page, the journalist? Oh, no, no, no. Don't, that, um, I fucked that up. I wish they would kind of say, like, Ari, door, duct tape, like, what, whatever the, the item is next to the thing. Or let's switch the camera on. What is this? Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. Yeah, so, so that, that motherfucker was indeed the origami killer. That's great. Alright, what's the... A bullet right between the eyes. Instant death. Well, it's more like in the forehead. It wasn't right between the eyes. But, you know, it's there. Was there something else on the table that I missed? Fucking camera, I love you to death. I will switch you when I want to switch you. Okay? Okay? Hmm. Him, the pheromones, the... Wait, what about the pills on the back side here? Or something. These! Or what is this? Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. A lot of names and numbers. Oh, well. What, uh, what is this? The killer was looking for something. Great observation that fucking quick. Camera work with me, huh? Would you? Would you? What? Oop. Got a gun here, but that's probably... That Was that Madison's gun? Hmm. Ho oh, ho, what is this? Oh, that's her lipstick, right? Madison Page? She may be a witness. Could be. I don't get this. It's her fingerprints, right? Madison Page. Well, I mean, it's not her. She's not the killer, obviously. We walked right by her. She walked right by us, etc. Melberries, welcome into the live stream let's play of Heavy Rain. Is this the final? This is not the final episode. Um, however, what you just missed. If you saw everything from yesterday, Madison came up here. Uh, the dead guy, she didn't kill him. She just wanted to get information from him, which she did. And as she was exiting the club, Nam and Jaden, on his way in, to come up here and talk to this guy. We had kind of a split screen. As I'm walking my way through the club to get upstairs, someone... The origami killer... I mean, they, they don't show who it was, you know what I mean? Like, there was someone, a mask and all, like, you couldn't physically see who the fuck it was. And the origami killer killed Paco because of all this stuff. Oh, someone was coming in here asking about, uh, 
Marble Street and that apartment and all this bullshit. So, like, you, whatever you're doing, I don't want to know, but it's got to stop and all this bullshit. So, boom. Origami Killer kills Paco. Namen comes in right after that. Puts on the Ari glasses. And, like, if he goes over here, where Paco was sitting, Origami Killer was here, like, behind the door, right? So, then there was a little fight that broke out, and of course the Origami Killer gets away. Was he tall and heavy set? Um, he was about Namen's height. I mean, he didn't look fat, no. If it was a he. I mean, you could even tell- well, I guess based on bodybuild, you could tell it was a man, but... Oh, another gun here. How did I miss this one? I needs me that. Pick it up. Do something. Look at it. 45 caliber semi-automatic. But we got nothing on it. Nothing. Nothing! What is this now? Shell casing? 45 caliber. Which came from the gun over there. Fingerprints of Paco Mendez. Son of a bitch. So, we didn't learn anything here. I mean, nothing extravagant. What? No, no, no. We did learn... Fuck, I wish I could go back really quick. Or maybe I can. Maybe, uh... Let's undo the glasses. Put them back on. Because... Namen said something you just missed. Ah, uh, all right. Well, Madison duct taped Paco to this chair behind over here. She duct taped him to this chair after she knocked him out to get info from him. So her DNA is on a lot of stuff here. And when I did the little flash bit and I looked at the duct tape, he said, Madison Page, what was the journalist doing here? So Madison Page is a journalist. Okay, we, we know that according to what our boy Namen told us. What am I looking at here? More, uh, oh, what it's is this? pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Coat pocket? Two oh, receipts I'm... from the same gas station. Interesting. Oh, wow. I was gonna leave. Good thing I fucking picked those things up. Good thing I fucking noticed them. But Madison Page is a, a, a journalist reporter, kind of, something like that. Hmm. All right, glasses off. Done at the crime scene. You just put your hand on the fucking doorknob, you knob. Don't be a knob. First rule of life. Don't be a fucking knob, you know? So. I already put my hands on your... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. back up. Turn around. Turn around. Where the fuck did the guy go? Is there a way up here or something, or...? I mean, you would think. What, is he afraid of heights? Looked like he was starting to shake. What the fuck would- No, no, no! That might be the way the guy left! You need to go up there, you need to nut up and get fucking tough about yourself. I don't know. Motherfucker won't go. Let's talk to that guy, maybe. He's like, yeah, he went up that way, or no, he went down through the crowd. We don't know, we haven't asked. I don't know if they will let us ask. Thoughts? I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. Um, think. Gotta go. Need to think about all this. See, it says Tripto. Oh, <sighs> got the shakes, and the cold sweats. Gotta get back to the hotel fast. Body. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? Gotta be. Murder. Well, killer. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. He did say his, though. Clues. The killer may have left some clues in the office. Seriously? I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. Murder. Hako knew the killer. That's why he was killed. 
Yep. Conclusion. Shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. Are they insinuating that there's any clues left that I didn't get? Because <clears throat> I thought I... I mean, I found that, that sleeve of his jacket thing, which I missed the first go-through. Huh. Huh. You motherfuckers need to get out of my way! See, the only person knows what the fuck he's doing is this guy over here making out with the chick. Like... oh, They'll be off to that right over here, right? That guy. What? Now it's to his left. Her legs draped around- see, that guy knows what he's doing. And I mean, if you actually- if you time sync it, that didn't take me ten minutes. After Madison left. Now let's go back to the Ethan hunt. See what is the problem with this guy. Maybe he'll have to chop off his wee-wee. Or someone else's. Perhaps give them a job of blowing. Oh, what happened there? For... Okay, is this like for effect? The blackout bullshit? Hey, Maddie! You were looking good in that torn-off dress, girl. Keep that thing on. Ethan. Are you alright? Her butt shows better in jeans, though. It's win-win. I couldn't do it. I was supposed to kill him to save Sean. Oh, boy. And I couldn't do it. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. But that's even worse then. Saving Sean. Forced to kill that guy? Oh shit. Kiss, just go for it. Just go for it. Uh, he's like breathing on her. I mean, sure, graphical limitations, and I'm sure it's really awkward to try to have two characters go for another- go f dude, dude, oh yeah, hold. Oh, was that tongue action? Is that what he's doing? Dude, go for it. Get in there and get you some. Again? Dude, don't fucking fret here. Come on. R1. L1. Up. Just, yeah, come on, go for it. Quick time events for stripping. Well, they're really not wasting any time. There's not a whole hell of a lot of foreplay going on with this. It's just kiss, kiss. Here go the clothes. Well, that's good too. I, I go for the neck. Fucking yeah, smart guy. Smart guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. Get you some. Up. Ho! Going for it. There he goes. I'm really into this scene. Oh, no, I'm not. Tilt. What does that do? Oh, oh no, no, no. Go for it. Whatever you were going to do. Tilt, I say. Tilt. Tilt. Oh, there you go. I mean, I really had to put this thing to the floor. Kind of like he did. But you gotta have a little stop-go action. I mean, if you just all out just strip down, strip her down, and go to- No, 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 no. You gotta do the strip tease thing. You gotta play it out. Please forgive my missing pinky. I know it might feel weird, but the long finger's still there, all yours. I mean, there's still- uh, Is there gonna be, like, some- hardcore -ish nudity. I don't recall this. I mean, I know that this happened, but I don't re Yeah, see, there's tit. Sure there is. Hey! Next to the bed? Get on the bed! I mean, a little more comfort, at least. I would've. If only actual encounters had step-by-step -step instructions, then guys wouldn't be so bad with it, right? Right? 
Now, what if his missing pinky? I mean, there's still, like, like blood there, right? I mean, what if that, like, like stuck? Because the, the blood's gonna coagulate to some degree. It was, like, stuck to his shirt and he's gotta, like, kind of peel it off because it's... You know, blood's got a sticky feeling to it. What is this now? Look to her. Go to her. But I mean, he's wearing his boxer briefs. I mean, if this was, like, real deal... Like, he's- he's totally, you know... He'd be naked. Not- not even wearing fucking gauze. When I get the fucking, uh, get the fridge open, have a drink. God damn it, nothing. Step outside in the rain. What about the box here? Is there anything to do with that? Get your clothes on! But like, where is he going right now? I mean, if I'm him, I, I'd... Dude, so weird, his shirt looked like a bucket. I know, graphical limitations, I know. It's not an exact science. And I'm sure clothing is one of the worst fucking things. Yeah. And that didn't even wake her up, huh? Oh, let's just sit down on the lawn furniture. Yeah. Ha! <sighs> just scored me a woman. Let me stand outside and enjoy the rain. Why am I talking like Zab Brannigan? I mean, that's... It, it kind of works. Let me take off most of my clothes and we'll go from there. Go to the bathroom, take some painkillers. What is this now? Checking yourself out, bro? Yep. You're only separated from your wife. Remember that, Ethan. But, you know, sometimes you gotta make chicken salad out of chicken shit. With his gauze-bloodied hand. Splash his face a little bit. You gotta drop a deuce? No, you're good? Alright. Change of clothes, maybe. I mean, just to make yourself a little more... ...presentable. Oh, shit. What is this now? Oh, boy. The clothes went perfectly on that chair backing. So, okay, she's got a phone. Understandable. Oh, boy. Seems she's been following you to some degree. Because that butterfly on the wall thing, we know that was, uh... That was in the electrocution room. Oh, she's taking notes. I should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, hey, sleepyhead. I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! Not entirely true. She didn't tell you all of the truth. She did not lie. Photographer? Well, she did have some photos there. But, eh, you know. She's gotta protect her own credentials. I'm in media, of course, that's... I would have probably said the same thing. <laughs> I thought you wanted to help. Not to say that I would have followed, helped, and slept with Ethan. Just saying if I were in her position in the... Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book! 
Time out as well. One more. Ethan doesn't even know that she had to deal with crazy fucking doctor guy who tried to kill us in his basement. That'd take all kinds of pictures, call the police and do all that shit. But two, how does Nam and Jaden know that she's a journalist and this guy doesn't? Like, you would kind of think, you know, anybody that's in the news media in your local, you know, in your metropolitan area, you, you kind of know them maybe even by name. She hasn't given a fake name. It's like, Madison Page, where do I know that from? Where do I know that from? Oh, you know me, I'm with the Sun Times. Like, if she was giving a fake name, a little different. Because let's just say she's not like the fucking, you know, the six o'clock news anchor. That'd be a little different scenario, but... I know I'm, I'm trying to rip this thing apart, but... Ethan's being bitchy. I gotta be bitchy back. Set him in place. It's true. I'm a journalist. Journalista. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I to be fair. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... That you... May not believe me. That's understandable. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. Well, he kind of did twice already, didn't he? All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. Wow, that's a very quick jump. Okay, I was getting a little... a little ahead of myself on that note. It's like... Ethan, you have to look at it from the standpoint of... You just fucking snogged her, alright? I mean, you fucking put the wood to her, son. I don't think if she were totally... like, trying to you know, play you like a fucking, you know, beat you down like a drum, I don't think she would have slept with you. So if anything, maybe you got some free cooch out of it, but... after that little episode they just had, Ethan would probably have to think like, oh, okay, I got something out of this. And she said what it could kind of be looked as, like she whored herself out to me, even though like she's a journalist and trying to collect this story, and like, she didn't have to help him one fucking bit, let alone, you know, give him that, mm-hmm. But she did. He's got to look at that as like, eh, all right. There's something a little beyond the journalist thing then. I mean, you kind of have to forgive her. She's been a good help, and you just fucked. So, I mean, come on. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so... If she were a politician, sorry. different. If she were a spy, different. She's a journalist. And you just fucked her, so... She, she's she got to have something there. Like, your know, feelings towards you. Aren't you? Of course, he's got to leave. He's the a man on the move. Figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Got Take to. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. Now that I have your next son, you know, up within my love tunnel. Pow! Yep. Yep. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me. I'll, I'll be back in ten minutes. Oh, bullshit. You know Ethan's gone. I'll be back. Jesus Christ. Love tunnel. Yep. That's the word I used. Oh, so now we control her. Okay. Well, never mind. Stairs. I couldn't really see the stairs the way this place is all colored so similarly. Cimerily, if you will. Go and get something to eat. What, the vending machine out front? Where a creepy guy working the front desk is uh, Mrs. Page, or is it Miss Page? <laughs> You're kind of cute, and I'd like to, you know, do several naughty things to you. With me, and uh, my face. Yeah, it, yeah, here's your room. Or your wait a minute. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Cops! Yeah, cops! Fucking Blake! Punchy piece of shit! Cops. 
They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Oh, it's a raid. Gotta get inside and use the fucking phone. Where the fuck was that phone? Here we go. Come on, what was the damn number? 207. Come on, come on. Luckily, they showed me on the screen up here. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Go! Go! Oh, boy. Oh, run and jump. Whoop. He's still on the move! Get him! He's making a run for it! He's on the balcony! Now, see, the thing, like, wouldn't they just shoot him? At least in the leg to incapacitate him and keep him, like, limping like a motherfucker. Oh shit. Down, I say. How did I fuck that up? Let's go this way! Oh shit, no. Keep going up. I don't know, do, do what you gotta do. Mash that motherfucking button! Come on, Ethan, you can't get- Like, we got oh, caught before. Oh shit! 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 Up. I don't know. Whoa! Nope. 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 Down, just... Come on, son. Nice duck and roll. Well, this guy's been through hell and back, and he's still, like, Athlete of the Month outrunning, like, SWAT members. Who oh, shit! Please. Ain't gonna trip me up. Stop, he says. Do I look like a stopper? Get up there, you motherfucker! Dude, these are SWAT team members. The police clearly would have shot this guy here in the States. This fucker would have been a smoke piece of jerky a long time ago. On your knees, hands behind your head. Easy, pal. There's nowhere to go. You're surrounded. Jump. Holy fuck! Ow! Ah! 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 I mean to land flat back bump backwards like that. Take me to the airport or somethings. Hey, what's the matter with you? Kind of hurt. Whoa. Yeah, you fuck you, huh? Not one fucking car other than that taxi. These roads would be just jammed up. I know it's a video game, I know. You unlocked a new bonus! What's that smell? You smell that? Hmm. Maybe I farted. Good old Shelby. Damn near midnight, which would hit Friday morning. Getting close to four and a half inches of rain. Scott the Shelby. The doorknob is in the middle of the door. I've never seen... That's how old this place is. I'll bet you he grew up here. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should oh. have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. Motherfucker. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. How in the hell... What happened? How did... She let him in then. What the hell's going on here? Oh boy, handcuffed to the. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
Oh boy, the car's sinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got? What do we got, Lauren? Lauren, Lauren, wake up! Just let's. We gotta shake uh. loose of this. We've got to. Shit. Mm. Um, what does this do? Cigarette lighter. That'll work. Car. No. Well, lights. How do the lights still work? Cigarette lighter. Burn that rope. Burn that rope. Ha. 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 Burn it. Not on the knot, you fool. Oh, shit. Oh, you shit. clumsy old shit. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, somehow it works. Okay. She, we gotta help her. going on here. Oh dear. Oh no. Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, wake up. Lauren. Hmm. Undo this. Ugh. Oh Jesus Christ. What do we what do we do here? Now what? Shelby's an animal. Carries her, swims to safety, like, beautiful. What a fucking machine this guy is. They shouldn't have made him an old guy. Like, he's a fucking... He's a dynamo. Oh. I was gonna take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> you tell him, Colombo. Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Oh, lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. Well, that's sweet. Little Miss 50 bucks. Whew! Damn, yo. That was fucking intense. I thought I lost them both right there. Fucking pressure of the water started crunching that glass. Oh, Shelby looks pissed. Shelby is not looking happy. Fucking A Team Shelby here. He's not fucking. You tried to kill him, you're done. You're done. What, Kramer? Is that the guy? You're fucking smoked. <laughs> Doesn't even look! Doesn't even fucking look! Did you see that? Hmm. Easy. Jesus Christ. Very good shot, this guy. They're just raining down the balcony. Hasn't reloaded yet. Oof. Gotta suck. Wooey. I love how they, like, jump and fall. 
Motherfucker, you. Shelby don't need to reload or nothing. Hey, assholes. <laughs> Stay back. Don't come near me, or I'll shoot. Ho, oh, 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 ho, oh. ho, ho. Fucking asshole. Get him. Please, don't. Good old right hook. Do something, Scotty. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a killer. Not a killer. Huh. You got tossed, yo. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No, no, please. Don't hurt me. I ain't begun Last to hurt chance. you. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Oh. Oh. Stop. Stop. I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Okay. Uh, Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to... To be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... He held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. So, from what I gather there, Gordy did indeed kidnap and kill a little kid because, like the Black Dahlia murders of um, L.A. Noir, well, in real life, there were imitators. His son was an imitator, wanted to be like the origami killer. Actually kidnapped and killed again. He's not the origami killer. Or is that some good cover-up? He just admitted that his son did kidnap and drown a kid. Uh... Let's see here. We'd, la no we'd leave him alone. No one would miss what? him. That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. You fucking old street man. street trash, like so many others. Oh. You disgusting pile of shit. John shit. woo. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? Right. I own the construction site where he died. Ah. Uh, I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. So you do have a heart. Twin brother? John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. We heard his that. Mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. Jesus. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! Nope. Shelby with the cross arm. <laughs> Does he have a saber-toothed tiger cat, like, skull on his table? This guy's just a complete piece of shit, and he raised one as well. Hmm. Doodles. Leave. Shelby! Come back! I fucking order you! Come back! 
I even got your pills so you can't even get to the desk. See, that's cold of me. To take the pills. By chance he might have the strength to get to that table? Leave him die. Fuck him. He tried... You know he put the order out to have me and Lauren killed. Fuck that guy huge. And back to Madison. Ooh, the geriatrics ward. 9 a.m. Friday, nearly five inches of rain. Now, what's the deal here at the geriatric ward? I mean, her butt shows on a good side view. That's nice. She must work out. Shepard. Now, how does she know of Anne Please Shepherd? sign the visitor's book. Okay. Are you a member of the family? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but Damn, huh? it'll still please her. You know. That's a rough go. It's room go. 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. <coughs> 19, you says, huh? Aww. The flowers of Robert Maplethorpe. Thanks to the internet, I know that that game exists. Not proud of it. Um. I mean, I would assume 19's like right at the fucking set here. One of these front doors, I would imagine. 20! Excuse me then. Not even being tended to, huh? Telling you, her in those jeans, that works. Really works. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... The other hospital. Introduce. My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Hmm. But okay. Yeah, I mean, the Alzheimer's hitting her bad. Like, the other hospital? She's probably been here for a long time. Like, this will not be... This will not be interesting. Foster family, John's brother. What about John? Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Um. Second son? John's brother. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Okay, now you're just dilly dallying. Foster fam? Second son. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Oh boy. Foster family? Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Um, what the hell is Carnaby Square? What is... I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Look at her hand. She's going remember? crazy. Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. <laughs> Or got son guilty. Um, I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some take terrible a quiz, things. Quiz did the thing. I need to Way find to do him. do the thing. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me. Can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? 
origami killer. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. Um, is there anything in there? Oh, that was a book of origami. She's the killer. The crane. The hummingbird. The dog. The frog. That's it. What about, like, the lizard? Or a swan? You know, we could go to the park and look at swans. The crane. That's probably the one we need. Oh, we're gonna learn it right here. We are gonna learn how to make us a swan. Okay. That quick? I love origami. But that's not my favorite one. No? Hummingbird? Hold on. Didn't this say we could go further back, or is that just for the title? Oh, okay. Never mind. So we did the crane. Fuck it, just roll. Hummingbird. Here we go. Origami. Hold circle, go down with it. And she makes a hummingbird like a motherfucker real quick. I love origami. But that's not my favorite one. Some, something's bugging me. There's these little pictures like on the bedpost kind of thing. I don't know if you can quite see them from... Ah, damn it. And call me crazy. But you see those little picture thingies like there's two right there. And there's the three on the other end of the old lady. On a close-up, it almost looks like if, if, it, if it's supposed to be like a woman's anatomy, almost. Like, I'm seeing... Two nipples. Call it a... Yeah, yeah you'll just... You'll, you'll notice it. You'll notice it now that I said it. Wait till we get a close-up on the old lady. No, wrong way. Oh, allergies are kicking in. This ain't fun. Triangle and down? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. Oh. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max? 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 All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Okay. Well, now that we have something there established... Something with dogs. Uh, let me just sit down and... This lady is not being very entertaining. Don't cry, Maddie. Get up. If you're gonna cry, then don't sit. What was this? Oh. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. Boys. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little oh, Johnny. Man. She did just say sons, though. She did just say it plural. God damn it. Anything else to do with this? She just said boys. I've heard boys. I mean, yes, it's... It, eh, flowers? You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Perhaps orchids? What is this? It's a 
picture of the twins. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Did you see those pictures? Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. And that's it. Just put it away and that's it. Done, huh? Hmm. Sounds like heavy rain outside here in South Florida. As if that's a shocker. Okay, now let's sit on the bed. Continue, continue convo. Um. Reminders. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. Right. Name. It'd take days, if not longer, to find the name of the family that adopted her son. Sean Mars would be dead by then. Very true. Anne. All right. No point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. All right. No point in wasting my Guess time. I can continue I won't learn with more by the Anne here. thought bubble, but kill her. This woman might be the origami killer's mother. I wouldn't doubt it. Must be some way to get her to remember. Well, we just did the origami doggy things. That was something. God damn it, I swear, sometimes you can't move in this game. Alright, no point in wasting my time. Hmm. I won't learn anything more by staying here. No, uh, there's gotta be more dialogue going. There's got to be. Well, we're not done. Nah, I ain't leaving yet. Huh. So all we can do is sit on the bed. There's no more conversation pieces to have. Just paper dogs. Oh, what about in the shitter? Oh, there, she's got drugs in here. She's got to have a good bundle of them. Oh, check yourself out. Oh, how narcissistical. Baby Jesus. Walk back outside the bathroom. Do you have my pills? You're not one of the nurses. She's got drugs right there, dude. Take them. Oh, man. Can't even get a TV for this per I mean, that's fucking terrible. Even give her a goddamn radio. Hmm. Got half an idea. No, let's... It, not that way, though. Th there we go. Let's go this way. Jeez. What if we stole the flowers from it? Can we? Memory. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Um, visits? Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. What? Oh my god, that's sad. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No. There's nothing, really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Super. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. Right, right, right. I know you that. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. That's why I'm thinking flowers. She didn't have any flowers, but there's flowers here. Can I take the- oh yes, or maybe look at them at least. Take the fucking flower, there you go. Now, I don't know flowers. Is this- is this an orchid? It'd be funny if it was. Well, maybe not funny, but coincidental? Is that a lilac? A lily? Hmm. Oh, did you bring back my pills? Hey, Ms. Shepard. Let me put it in with the stuff. There you go. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. 
when John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're learning. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? Name? The foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. Ooh. What was the name? His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. <laughs> Come closer. Oh, so we gotta get full on whisper mode. See, like, this is kinda like, whatever. Whoa? Now, of course, they don't let you hear it. But she was obviously told. And, and that's it. I mean, how... I mean, that's terrible. Like, she'll never talk to that old, old lady again. Last letters, 961 Rainbow Avenue. What did that say? We're over five inches here, 630 at night. What do I have to do here? 961 Rainbow Lane. Move a little faster there, Ethanos. It's like some Alice in Wonderland shit. It's like, we're moving, but we're not. A lot of red here. Disgusts me. I don't have to wear that shirt anymore on Thursdays. Feeling great! What the hell am I dealing with here? Chandelier, paintings... Nope, that's like a camera something thing. Oh, there's just a bunch of little fucking droid cams. That's, that's perfect. That is perfect. Super, okay, what's the deal? The last trials. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? I kind of been doing that. There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. <sighs> you can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Well, <sighs> Ethan, you're not in good shape. I mean, you may as well just, just take a drink, throw her down the hatch, and even if your son dies and you're gonna die too, it's, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it myself, personally. Seems like it's affecting him quickly. What is this elegant room with all these fucking webcams? Like, where is this place? Looks a little glitchy. What's going on? The last letters have been sent to your phone. Wow. Now there should be some missing. Yeah, because I didn't do everything. Should have killed that guy. And there's the timer. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. But I knew it was Roosevelt. We knew that. Uh, is there a street and a boulevard? Well, street and avenue. Is it northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast? 
Well, you ducked down pretty late for those cops to not notice you. Because I think they would have noticed you. Like, do we have an accurate place or like... Dude, come on. This has got to be pretty fucking close to it. I'm nowhere and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address! Come on! There I guess had we killed... This. Had we killed the guy, I guess the numbers would have been sent to our phone, I suppose? Um... But we knocked him out! Sure, what's this gonna do? Anything? No. No idea. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. Eight five two Ho Hotel Theodore Roosevelt Lane. Okay. That looks good to me. Now what? What is with this? I don't understand. Is he calling somebody? I don't get that. I have no idea what's going on with that. I mean, he just punched it in like we're good to go, right? Oh, super. So there's three spots. Park, lane, and road? Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I want to see the paper again. This I don't give a shit about. Hello? Nothing. Oh, God damn it! But you can't hear anything there. Hold on a second. Uh, it's Roosevelt. Oh, we don't know. It's either road lane or park. Shit. Why would it be P-A-R-C? I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. Nope, don't do that. Oh, Jesus. Eight five two Theodore Roosevelt Road. I don't know. It's close to the river. I don't know, man. I have no fucking clue. That what's up with the phone though? Is there something I'm honest to God missing? Like, let me jack up the volume. In case I can't hear something from my TV. Oh. Sounded like a foghorn, right? Now that's coming from the phone, correct? So based on that, maybe my assumption is correct. That it would be somewhere along the river, I would assume. Close to the water, if you're gonna have a barge fucking honking like that, that's my guess. The lower one would not have been it. It would be either of the upper two. Because it looked like there might have been a river running across the, uh... Running across the way there. But we were really close to water on the, on the far right one. I mean, I don't know, if you go left, right, and down. The down one couldn't have been it. The right one along that river had to be. Best guess. Because the other one that was, like, towards the left side, that could have been a canal, river. All right, what are you doing here? 635... We've got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! Okay. All packed up and ready to go? No. What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. 
so you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. Super. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. You just beat the shit out of this guy. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Go fuck your mother. Tell him in the accent. Oh no, don't wig out now, guy. Fight it. Fight it. Oh, he just did it on his own. Holy shit, did he... Yeah, he went for it. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Okay. Oh, Grant. one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Yep. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Yep. That would be most unfortunate, sir. It would. It would. All right, fuck scenery, we're fine there. Close Ari. No, no, no. We need clues. Now, what's new to us? The tired tracks, we've looked at those. The orchid. The origami figure. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Okay, that's a good start. Analyze. No uh, prints. That doesn't get us anywhere. Okay, what about geoanalysis? Where are they located? The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. But that's kind of the area where I was headed with, uh, with Mars. So that looks good, on paper at least. On the paper, get it. The gun the killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing its history. Can we trace the history? Analyze. Serial number. Impounded in a police case five years ago. The gun is still... If not a cop. Huh. No analysis there. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Analyze. Oh, wait a minute. Are we analyzing or... Hold on, analyze video. Nope. Play. Analyze. Right there. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Caught that one kind of quick, huh? Larry's promotion present. The gold watch. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. And he did say that the gun. Was. Possibly within police custody. Well, you can see that watch clear as day here. I mean, when he's choking me, that's the best view we got. Yeah, I mean, that's... You can't miss that watch. Ooh-wee! Now, what is this last bit of thing? Stop is what? A fucking... A that. Okay. 
The killer is a cop. Tire Looks tracks. like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. <sighs> Further. I don't think that's right, though. How can we analyze this? What What is there to analyze? Analysis impossible. Wait, because we know the watch. Hold on, um... What's up with the figure here? Uh, have I done all this? Yeah, yeah, I've done all this. Clear it. So that was clues. What about files? I mean, we gotta have something else here. We know that it was... Ugh. Open! Analy- ah, oh, shit, I thought there was something else going on here. I remembered the watch thing. Age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. Right. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Uh, clear, I say. There's got to be more for clues. There's got to be. And I kind of forgot what else we might be looking for. The orchid. Tire tracks, the gun, well... Now he does say... Serial number, so a cop would have access to it. Or it should be in police custody or something like that. The geoanalysis, we know... Gas station receipts are right there. Oh shit, wait, don't I have like a... Didn't I have a part of like his sleeve or some shit? Hold on. Where is that in the evidence? Or was it just the receipts that I... That I'm working with here? Hmm. Analyze the video. Oh shit. He's starting to like bleed from his eye. That's not good. Not good at all. What about the sleeve? Oh, I can't sit here too long with the fucking glasses on. End of the recording. Oh, it's not looking good. I mean, I can't... I mean, yeah, we know what the watch. We know what the watch. What, what, what more can I get out of that? We know about the watch. We know that. Where, where is that? Oh, man. Where is the fucking watch, though? We only got two files. Map, we kind of got something there. Oh, I gotta close out. I've got to. Continue or give up. Wow, they made me throw the glasses back on. I'm trying to think of, like, what else... I, I know about the watch. What else is there? I mean, I, I ripped off the jacket sleeve and there or something, and that's how I got the two gas station things. What the fuck else was there? I can't keep throwing on the glasses. He's gonna fucking, like, die of a brain hemorrhage. Oh, what the hell else am I missing here? What the hell else am I missing? Man. 
what about the- wait, wait, no, 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 close out, stop, stop, I think we're good. I think we're done. I need to go look at that watch. Close. Give up. I... I can't go on. Well, it said give up. I can't go on. The watch. Let's go... To the watch. So what? They treat that like like what? Is that like a death or a game over? So there's still something that I missed there? Man, I don't get that. Let me stay with you, Scott. I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lord. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise. So... Oh, bam! Plant one, there you go. Go Scott Shelby. Didn't even have to pay 50 bucks. Wow, that's a hell of a kiss you got going on there. There you go, guy. Okay. Flashback mode. So I really don't know where the fuck I'm running to, but let's just run. Need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. <laughs> Gotta find someone. The water's still rising. John won't be able to hang on for long. Oh shit, there we go. Dad, I've gotta get Dad. He's the only one who can save John. Gotta move. Here we go. Here's Pops. Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he fell into a pot. Oh, He's get coming. out of here, you little pet. Leave me alone. Gotta come, Dad. Come on, John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Wow. Go Please, away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, Dad. Why are you? Crap. They almost have him as like a cartoon drunk. Please, please, Dad. You've got to save John. There's the orchids. I Super. tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. <laughs> don't. Don't forget about this guy. Scotty. Don't forget about me, Scotty. Don't forget about me, Scotty. Scott. Fairly, uh, I don't want to say morbid, but... Like I said, it's a very noir game. Scott, huh? Scotty. Uh huh. Oh boy. Oof. Tearing up there, huh, kid? Oh boy. What do you got there, Scooter? What I don't get, though... Wait, why do we care what we're doing here with Scott Shelby? I maybe should have put that out. 
Or am I supposed to do all this? Because think about it, I mean, if he's the... He's the origami killer. Why would I want to assist him any further? With anything. Don't throw anything else in the fire. That's evidence. We know he's the killer, Scotty. We know he's the killer. Oh boy. Helped this poor lady out with the baby. I don't remember him taking that phone. Okay, there's the letters. Alan Winter. Oh, Alan? That was her, okay, her... I don't think it was husband. So we do need to get all this shit burnt because it's telling the story as we go. And even this guy's stuff. Oh boy. Getting really shaky now. I didn't really see what that was. I guess the rental book for the apartment warehouse thingy? No shit. Oh, burn the picture of your brother. See, that one was shaking the most. Oh boy. What about Momzo? What do you got? Now the explanation here. Typewriter. Phone. Okay, back to that scene. We were Scott Shelby. We rounded the corner and saw him knocked out. Well, my best explanation for that is... I mean, maybe we should have been controlling Lauren. Because Scott's not going to tell the truth. So, it played out the way... I mean, the way they wanted us to see it. We were controlling Shelby at that point. However, we didn't kill the guy. Well, Shelby killed him. But when we were controlling him, it's as if we had no clue. So from a point of view standpoint, it played out you know, the way it needed to. You know, for us to not see what happened. Even though Shelby knew exactly what happened. But yeah. I'm still mad like there was apparently something that I needed to get to with uh with Nam and Jaden. And I don't know what the fuck it was, man. I saw the watch, had the gun. Mm. Sherlock! Elementary, my dear Kellogg's Warrior. Welcome into the live stream let's play of Heavy Rain, as we are nearing the back portion of the game. Not the back half. I mean, we're coming down the back stretch now. But yes. Quite the elementary. I mean, that's Kellogg's with a Q and a Z, but still. Over five and a half inches of rain has fallen. It's getting late. 6.30. Um. Yeah, don't even try to knock. It won't go. Oh, you crafty little girl, you. Pick that lock.
Oh, how did I fuck it up? What happened there? Oh. Got to up, down, up, down, up, down. Oop, 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 oop. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Turn that shit. Yeah, there you touch, go. Girl. I'll bet she's got a good touch. Sneaky! The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Now, she don't know who Scott Shelby is. One thing I did want to check, though. Ah, shit, that's all gone. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Damn it. God damn it. He used to be a cop. Yep. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. Hello. Take that fucking gun, are you kidding? I want to see if that typewriter has the name on it that uh, we were looking for earlier. I didn't notice it at the time. I, I forgot that it was a correctly named thing. Oh, come on. What is all this? News media release. I don't know what that pertains to. Got the inhaler, sure. That hasn't been an issue for him at all. Likes him some scotch. So what the fuck? What else do they want me to look at here? Ah, right, okay. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Yep. What is this? Huh. Is Heavy Rain like the Broken Sword games? I'm not sure what Broken Sword is, so I, I honestly don't know. It's kind of point and click like the Telltale games, kind of. With more of a noir setting to it. Uh, you know, quick time events and things like that. And kind of the decisions you make do pile on in the long run. Look at this, we found ourselves a... This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Uh-huh. Grew his own orchids. Yes, he did. When the parents came home from church, there's the fucking... There it is. There it goddamn is. And all the origamis. A mouse. He's pretty good at it. Butterfly, lizard. Shit, it needs a password. Um... John? Incorrect. Uh... Origami. Incorrect. Max. Got it. Max, 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 Max. Max, Max. Why did she say that name so child. often? Yeah. What the hell is that? An address. It's Roosevelt Road. Horses. Hurry. There's no time to lose. Is that where I went? Well. So you found my little secret. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Oof. That might have helped, or... Get it. That's like an iron fucking door of horrendous doom. That looks pretty solid. Huh. Um, how about this? No, how about somewhere there? Nope, how about 
Somewhere over there. Do it! Do it! God damn it! I hate that. I go to look at the place, and there's nothing. Oh shit. Uh, camera, would you motherfucking work with me here, please? S All right. Yeah, smoke. The place is... yeah. You wouldn't be coughing that quick. Come on. Um, no. No. Do it again. Do it. Do it. Keep... Bash your way through that shit. Get the fuck... Get in there! Get you some! Do it, woman. You're badass. You can take care of it. Okay, let's... Cl climb through, crawl through. Butt shot. Oh, yeah. She's good like that. Okay, uh, window. Window? Let's do the window. It's narrow, but... Not a logical way down. Camera, work with me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not good, huh? We're gonna make a running jump? You're kidding me. Getting a little too crazy here. Oop. God damn it, I went to... I went to scratch my head and couldn't hit the fucking stick in time. You know? Ah, oh, what the fuck was... Oh, it was a mash, wasn't it? L1 is a masher. Well, you better move quick now, because that thing's gonna go up like a fucking tinderbox. As you can imagine. How about this window? Do you have a way out? It's way too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. I gotta find something else. Son of a bitch. Don't jump from there. Whoa, that was close. No, not not here. Not here. Camera, you gotta work with me. Door's probably locked. Holy shit, the whole place is up in flames. Air conditioner that... what is that? Is that like a fucking gas canister or something? It's gotta get to the window. Some window, any window. Jump on a dumpster, something. It's way too high. Jesus fuck. I'll kill myself if I jump. That's not good. I gotta find something else. What? All right, what is this now? Her. <laughs> Knock shit over. Knock shit over. Dude, that gas canister's got to that. That's gonna cause problems. I mean, I probably should have, like, thrown that out the window. Where's this go? It's still very smoky. Oh, shit, yeah, we gotta, we gotta move. Camera, fucking work with me here! What is this? Clear out. Yeah, see, that thing's gonna... Gonna have too much pressure going for it. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Climb out. Is that good enough? Did I choose a correct window? No idea where the fuck to go. Oh, there was the window right there. The window. There you go. Thank God she's running on her own. Oh, that thing, like, shacked up there. Alright, I don't know if that canister would have done that kind of damage. Probably destroy the room it was in. With the entire fucking wing of that building? I don't know about that much. Anyway. Camera surely does not like me. No, it doesn't in this game. I mean, you can control it with L1... Well... All Jaden alone. Ethan. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. So there is that. Confirm. Well, Jaden was her friend or something, right? Or 
Well, that's not good. Hey, who's this J guy? Wasn't that like her friend or some shit? No idea. This lady comes running out of that building that just blows up. Everybody's pointing and looking at it. I mean, who is, is that? Is that Sean? He, he doesn't look as boring as he normally did. He was very morose. He was. Friday, 7.20 p.m. Almost six inches of rain. I think that was uh, what they had said. Okay, stolen cop car. Took him forever to get here. Push this way! Shot! Oh, it's got to be the grate over there. Sean! It's got to be. Sean! There Sean! He is. Can you hear me? Daddy's here. He looks terrible. I'm gonna get you out of there. Shake, shake like a motherfucker. All right, you can see that thing's like, like, dead bolted down. Oh shit. Um, a gun, a pipe, a crowbar, something. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pry that bitch open. Get there. Come on. Get there. Huh. Huh. Do it again. Do it again. Keep doing it. Oh, shit. There we go. Somehow bust that lock. Kid, you're not dead. Don't even... I mean, you almost grab onto the bars. Keep yourself up and suspended. I know they would kill your arms. Come on, get it out of the way. Button mash it. I mean, he wasn't submerged. Come on. His face was still there. He's fine. I mean, he does look terrible, though. He looks completely shot. My God, Sean, answer me. Oh, boy. Don't die on me, son, please. Oh, come on, breathe. it's gonna... Okay, so hold, hold. Gotta breathe. Keep those two held. Push. Okay. Breathe. Gotta keep R1, Gotta L1 breathe. held. L1. Down. Okay. R1. L1. Holding the trigger buttons. Only fucked it up once. <laughs> L1. Down. Okay, they disappear. Don't leave me. Sean, don't. He wasn't, like, dead, though. Don't leave me. His face was clearly out of the damn water. <laughs> or did my one fuck-up do it? Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I didn't do it well enough. <laughs> Keep on the CPR, dude. You need to go... F <coughs> well, there you go. Turn him over. Get him on his side. Oh, oh, oh. Don't don't sit him up like that. Oh. No, just roll him over. Let him, like, <coughs> hack that shit out. Dad. I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. <laughs> Could have had a better voice actor for the kid. Just saying, Dad, Dad, help. Sean, listen, you are when this guy chopped off his pinky, in my life. beautiful. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I, I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and I'm not dead. I'll just wait, Ethan. 
poison has a tendency to, you know, sometimes it hits early, sometimes it hits late. Ethan! What are you doing here? I did some hunting around. I know who the killer is, Ethan. I can prove your innocence. Congratulations, Ethan. You succeeded. You're the father that I have been looking for all these years. The man capable of giving his own life to save his son. You got what you wanted. I finished your trials. Hmm. Now let us go. I'm afraid that's not possible. Your lady friend knows my little secret. I don't intend to end my days in prison. I'm going to have to kill you both. I'm sorry, Ethan. You earned my respect. Ethan! Oh, boy. Oh, dude, if he can't hit you from here. What? All right, what's happening? What's happening? How does this guy get around so quick? Oh, shit. Yeah, I hit the wrong button there. Not looking good. I fucked that one up. With a bad leg, she still takes the jump. <laughs> Whew. Zigging and zagging, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, take the fucking... Take the speary hook. Get the gun. Oh, for fuck's sakes. So his last bullet was wasted on Ethan's fucking gut? What kind of shit is that? Hold it, what did I miss? That kid was playing... Fucking... Just playing dead the whole time. Of course he was. And yes, Melberries, it was indeed Scott Shelby. <laughs> Button mashing with a bad leg she's got to climb. Now see, the thing of this... I must not have done everything right with, uh... With Namen. Because normally... Well, not normally. If you go about everything good and solid... Norman, uh, Norman takes the role in this, and he finds out everything, so I missed something. Some fucking detail I missed. But of course, I wanted to go look at the watch. Lady, why did you lock yourself in this fucking thing? Whoa, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I fucked that up. I, I thought I hit right. Now I got the damn thing. Holy shit, is he just immensely strong. You kidding me? Oh boy. Had a gun of your own, maybe. Yeah. Plug him. Get him another one. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Oh! Timber! And let him drown in his own pool. 
Why is he trying to kill me? It's a long story, Kellogg's. You're seeing pretty much the end of the game here. Which is kind of spoiler alert big time, but... It's a long, complicated story. <laughs> There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the Oregon killer. Look at that killer. evil sneer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. So there you go. Okay, now what? Let's One more just trial? Say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. A very big studio kind of a place. Hey, Dad! There's rooms? Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. Just we'll like you. You'll be able you. to forget oh. what happened. You won't be able to we'll forget everything you just life. went through. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. Nah. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. You know, he's not exactly divorced. Yay. Happy endings. Happy endings. <laughs> Keep on laughing, kid. You're gonna need- Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that- With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. <laughs> I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. Hmm. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling and, uh... Well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Going to the you real want. world. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too. He's gonna start a barbershop quartet, isn't he? Isn't he? This fucking guy. Well, I don't know how things exactly change. I'll... Uh, let's get to some credits and I'll start maybe half explaining stuff. Oh shit, and then there's Lauren. You killed my son, Scott. Yeah. Yeah, there is that. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? We don't know why you did all this. He was trying to deter you. Nothing can justify it anyway. No, nothing can. He doesn't even deserve a proper burial. I feel... Nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. 
Oof. Yep, the old spit on the grave. Here lies Scott Shelby. Never had no children of his own. You know, like, a guy like that, do you even give him a proper burial? Honestly, he fucking murdered children. You know, was a crooked cop, essentially. I wanna see them. Written and directed by David Cage. Also, oh, that's what that would've looked like. Fair enough. Well, as this is winding down, a couple of things, uh... to explain. Uh... Yeah, I guess I never finished with all of the... the Ari things with Norman. Because he would show up at the site, and, like, I think he would have the shootout with Shelby. I'm pretty sure. Um... Now, and th this goes back to, uh, like I said, I was I was introduced to this game on YouTube by watching the Let's Play uh, done by the Super Gaming Brothers. So big shout out to them for showing me this game. And yes, that's how I knew this game. This was not a blind playthrough. It was my first playthrough, but I knew the game well enough um, from from watching them, and I enjoy their work. I really do. Might be under SGB Let's Plays, SGB Super Gaming Brothers. Look them up. I'm big fans of their work. But, uh, that's how I was introduced to this game and saw the whole thing through. The one thing, though, it's, uh, the younger brother, Elliot, was the one playing the game. When you're in the car, in the sinking, drowning car, with, uh, Shelby and Lauren, he kind of fucked it up, and he just exited the car without saving Lauren. So that embrace and the kiss between Lauren and Shelby, I never saw that, never knew it would happen. Um... Elliot also shot the deranged guy with all the crucifixes in his house. Um, he shot that guy. So I, I don't think that essentially changes anything, but... Elliot did uh, everything with the Ari correctly when working uh, that last bit with, uh, with Norman. So whatever I did, I fucked that up and I... don't know. I mean, sure, Norman lived... In, in my set here. He did, he did live, but, um, ah, I just, I couldn't get him into the final mix of it all. Because, like, all the characters would have been there, minus, I mean, you control Lauren for a very small amount of time, but if it's one thing that I didn't have completed there, it, uh, it was to have Norman to be in that final set. But, ah, shit. I wonder what I did wrong or what I missed, uh, to make that happen, but, I am Duke! Just started watching. Welcome in, Duke, to the, well, the finale for the live stream Let's Play of Heavy Rain. Uh, you missed a good game, if you don't know what this is. I mean, thankfully, we're at the end. So there's no spoilers in case you didn't see anything from here. But, uh, yeah, hell of a game. And for the rundown really quick, for all the, uh, the Twitch lurkers checking things out, I call this all the live stream let's play because I'm live streaming here on Twitch when this... when I'm done streaming, that is, I'm gonna take the video and export it onto my YouTube channel where video game things are known as let's plays. So, I kinda created that that all one big ol' hashtag, live stream let's play. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and on YouTube all by the same name you found me here, whether you're watching live on Twitch or you're watching episodically on YouTube at your own leisure. Look in the upper left corner, that name, me, MJ Lakomiak, just copy and paste that name, and you can find me, as I said, on Twitch, on Twitter, and on YouTube, all by that very same name. So it's easier for you to find me for what I'm doing, and it's easier for me to remember what the hell the name is. So, so I got that going for me, which is nice. But this, I believe, uh, this will be, what, like a four, maybe five episode full rundown of, uh, of Heavy Rain for my playthrough. First playthrough, it wasn't necessarily blind, because I did know the game, but uh, first playthrough, at the very least. This popped my Heavy Rain Cherry. How about that? <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so in case you're just jumping in now and you missed anything, you're wondering, what the hell, there's you know a couple people watching this game, what's this all about? It'll be on my YouTube channel soon enough. It takes a little time to export the video, but... Not too long from now, I would imagine. Couple hours. If it's 10 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm guessing by 11, midnight the latest. It'll be there. 
And then you can see the entire playthrough start to finish just to see, like, what is what and how things happen. But this wraps up part of our Halloween Horror Month short stream type marathon thing we're doing. Mini marathons of horror, and this was more drama, more than anything. And I guess that you Melberries, yet yeah, you you sniffed it out early. Well, I don't know what your what your reasoning behind Scott Shelby was, but yes, Scott Shelby is the origami killer. Yeah, you were right on that one. I had to no sell it and play it dumb. I hope that was pretty good. Because you did kind of credit me the other day, like, you're pretty good at the not giving away who the killer is. So... It's me and my acting skills. Not that I've ever really acted before, but... I can't just be like, oh, wow, you totally knew who did it, wow! And then we have to play, like, five more hours of the game? That totally spoils it for everybody who was watching for the first time, or whatever the case might be. So I had to no-sell it. Had to. I'm just mad what... I didn't realize, uh, what, what did I miss there with, with Norman, that last run down with the Ari? What did I miss? We knew it was a cop, the gun, the watch, what was that last piece that I needed? Was there something else in the video? Was there something with, uh, with the gas stations or, or something? I, I just don't know. Damn, and luckily, I went to the correct place with, uh, with Ethan, because had I not gone there, who knows? Who really knows what the fuck would have happened? But we did look, uh, it did look like we were at a loading dock or something like that, a, uh, you know, like a port. A shipyard, if you will. So you could hear that little tugboat horn in the background of that, that voicemail, whatever he was listening to. But, uh, luckily I picked the right one. If not, I would assume it's all up to, uh, uh, Madison to do everything, to get the kid out try to revive him or something, or maybe she doesn't give him CPR mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. I don't know. I have no idea. I've never seen it done that way. But what about in the drowning car? What if Shelby doesn't get away? Is it you would need to restart that scene again, or is it game over and we never really find out? Or we do find out, but he's already dead, so it's kind of a non-issue? Like, yeah, there's a lot of pathways that this this game can take you. Oi, the people at Quantum Dream, who made this fucking game, it's, uh, like I said, I can, I poke a couple of holes in the, uh... Hmm? Kinda missed the dates there, 2016 to something, something? Or 1956 to hoo-ha? What? 2013. Sad to hear that, but if this game is in that person's memory, whoo! Talk about a good one. Continue. The epilogue. Origami's grave. Is that... I mean, hell, let me check in on that, see if anything is different, or... If it's just Lauren standing there, or what the deal might be. I don't know what this entails. I really don't. Probably just her, then. Or maybe not, I don't know. Looks a little... Nah, it's her. Alright. We already saw that. Back to the menu. Are you sure your progress hasn't been saved? It, nothing has happened. We're fine. You know what's crazy though, like, you can't go... Uh... Chapter by chapter, which I wish you could. That would be really cool. Oh no, you can. Huh? Huh? Um, Killer's Place, Old Warehouse, News Report... Nah, it's somewhere in five. Fish Tank is where we started. Rat. Solving the puzzle. What did I miss here? That's part of what I'm interested in. I mean, maybe that would change things moving forward through the rest of the story, but... Well, you saw how I played it. Extras, I think there's just a lot of, uh... What trophies did I end up getting here? Thank you for supporting interactive drama. Okay, fine. Good father. Follow the schedule with Sean to put him to bed in a good mood. FBI investigator. Crime scene. Find all the clues. The first time using Ari. VIP paparazzi. Leave the home without being spotted by the journalists. Ran out the back door, remember that. Agoraphobia. Lexington Station. Knock down at least 50 passers-by. Self-control Nathaniel. Do not shoot Nathaniel was the crazy guy. With all the crosses in his room. Um, good driver, the bear. Complete the bear trial successfully. Cat and mouse. Covered market. 
defeat Corda in the cold storage room. Tough guy. Kramer's party defeat Gordy's bodyguards. Electrified the butterfly. Complete the butterfly trials successfully. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? Good cop. Shrink and punches. Stop Blake from hitting Dupree. Did that. Hands up, fugitive or on the loose. Get arrested by Blake. Huh. That's a trophy? To get arrested? Ludwig Vaughn. Jaden Blues, play the piano without a wrong note. Um, I played a wrong note. I remember that specifically. Wise guy, under arrest. Switch the camera off in the surveillance room before saving Ethan. So I did that, Melberries. She questioned that, and we know, well, or did we? Because I swore I fucked that up. Oh well. I'm not a killer. The shark. Do not kill the drug dealer. Okay. Smart girl, the doc. Do not drink the doc's beverage. There you go. Queen of the ropes, the doc. Escape before the doc returns. Uh, the chef, Eureka. Prepare a good omelet on time. I thought I burnt it. Lover boy on the loose. Forgive Madison. Mm -hmm. Escape master on the loose. Escape the police at the hotel. At the motel, excuse me. Swimming instructor trapped. Uh, save Lauren while underwater. Shelby, what a butt. He ain't no butt. Just horrendously... I mean, that's trauma from childhood. <laughs> Invincible Scott face-to-face. -face. Do not get shot in Kramer's villa. That's almost tough, man. Like, Shelby was on point there. Sacrifice the rat. Drink the poison. Clever dad. Uh, work out where Sean is held. Um, that was luck. Essentially. Heavy rain hero. Finish the game and save the kid. Save Sean. That's it. We're good. That's, that's my trophies. Okay. What about bonus stuff? Heavy Rain prototype, the casting. Is this, wait a minute, so we got videos here? What is this? What's going on? Go ahead, take a seat. Can you give me your name and your age, please? My name is Mary Smith, I'm 24. Have you ever taken any acting lessons, Mary? Really? Not really, I couldn't afford it, but I watch a lot of films and I learn so much by watching them. Have you shot anything recently? I've had a few bit parts, little things here and there. Nothing now, is this like actual stuff that, that, that they did here or what? All too short, wrong hair. I mean, unique, no, whatever. I'm not really going to watch all this stuff, but... Oh, but if that's the casting, like, can I like... Casting real actors? Oh, making of casting the real actors. Can I watch that just a couple of seconds? Oh, music! Oh, baby Jesus. Killed the volume on that, don't worry. It should be good. It just, it was loud and, you know, copyright hits. Dad! <laughs> hey, Dad! take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. For real. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Mmm, ten years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. So could you just... Holy shit. Give me a name for the camera. Uh, my name is Pascal Langdale. Uh, Norman Jaden and Ethan as well. Well, this is this is an interesting view. I might watch this on my own later. But dude, this fucking guy, no, I'm applauding. The way this guy screamed when I chopped off his pinky, his own pinky. You know what I mean? Like, this fucking guy was really shouting like that shit hurt, and it was a psychological kind of fuck up along with physical. This guy, I applaud you, sir. I applaud you. No fucking joke. That, I mean, he sold that. It wasn't just, oh god, oh, oh, no, he was, I mean, come on. You ever stubbed your toe on, like, the edge of your bed? On, like, the, dude, that shit hurts. This guy made me believe he really chopped off his fucking finger the way he was yelling. Just hold on. I won't be able to tell them anything because I don't know anything. I don't know what happened. Ethan, you may have killed those children. You don't know what you're capable of. You must end yourself oh, in. I have to save Sean at all costs. He may be uh, a prisoner somewhere, and I'm the only one who knows where. He's good. He's good. If, if I have to face up to all these He's good. I like this guy. I love my son, I'll Maybe he did in real life for the cinematic effect. Yeah, he was method acting. What if I really chopped off my own Sean. finger? See, now that I'm using the voice, I feel like a prick because that's really him. It's not just a character model, and they had a voiceover guy who looks nothing like him. No, that looks exactly like him. I want to see what Madison Page kind of looks like. I'm not even going to lie to you. No, that guy. I want to see what that guy looks like. 
I'd oh, like to on this page. That's your hey. Anything. Nice tight little pan of rouge there. That's fun. A little butt wiggle. Sure. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, she's cute. Mm -hmm. um, oh, beg your pardon, madam. <laughs> That's enough of that before I get carried away. She's hot. Wow. Sorry, but the CG character doesn't do her in bunch justice. Wow. With the blonde hair, even. Huh. So there you go, you have that. I thought I just had character art the first time, or, uh, concept art. The, the casting thing wasn't there the first time I looked through. But there's a lot of concept art. There's making of with uh, crafting the visual actors. Yeah, there's a lot of things. I'll, I'll, I'll probably check these out off camera. I mean, unless I make a separate, you know, extras bonus episode. Even the music. Very orchestral, very moody. With the rain and all that stuff. Huh. Thought there'd be more extras, but... Well, that's good enough for me. That's fair. And maybe for my own doing, I'll probably go back to chapters and try to figure out what I did wrong there with uh, Nam and Jaden in that last piece, because I kind of wanted all the characters there at the very end and alive. Now, granted, Lauren was sent away, but she was alive. There is... Yeah, like I said, when the car is being sunk and drowned, like, well, you know what I mean. When the car is drowning, um, you can escape with Shelby, not even worrying about Lauren in the passenger seat, and just leave her to drown to death. Um, I didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. So, pretty much all the characters lived... Well, okay, outside of Jason, let's not make jokes. J Jason died early, but uh, of the playable characters... Well, Shelby, of course, too, but he had to die, you know? He had to. Of course, then again, I wonder... If I were to get Madison and, and everybody else killed, like, can Shelby walk away from this thing, sight unseen? Like, walk away the murderer and just keep going at it? I wonder. I'm sure if you check YouTube, there's a ton of all these videos where, like, every possible ending scenario, chapter by chapter, what happens, etc., etc. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, what, what if Shelby drowns in the car? Then what? Sean might end up dead because you'll never find out all the clues or anything like that. I wonder. And that would be like the ultimate worst ending. Well, no, I guess Shelby getting away with everything would be the absolute worst ending, because you know who did it. Anyway. A very well put together game. It's kind of a Tarantino jump around, which I kind of liked. Um, and yeah, it's, it's mostly just a quick time event of a video game, point and click. Kind of like your, uh, your Telltale games. But, oh, I... Very much enjoyed this game. And plus, this is on the PS4. It looks way better than it did... Uh, I, I believe it was PS3 was the first console I saw it on. Like I said, going back to the Super Gaming Brothers on YouTube. Um, I believe that was a PS3 playthrough that they did. But even that, just... this the, They really made the game look that much prettier. They really did. And always sounded good. Like I said, the characters, they're all kind of memorable in their own way. Very smart to only use four of them. And, okay, what about, uh, what about Ethan's separated wife? I don't think they're divorced. Like, that last little scene there when they were both, uh, at the police station together. Like, I think that was it. I think that was the last you saw of her. So, like, you know, what really happened there? Did the divorce happen? Did it, did it get finalized? Because him and Madison, I mean, they... They, they were, they were banging. They were banging. And, uh, I don't think they were even divorced at that point. And they're moving in together, so I guess that separation is, that pretty much put the kibosh on it, you know? Oh well. Just my take on it. Anyway, this finishes up, there's our finale of Heavy Rain here on the PS4, which is what I usually stream on anyways nowadays, but, uh, separate story altogether. But, very enjoyable game. I mean... If you sat through this live on Twitch, I hope you liked any part of it you did watch. If you watch episodically on YouTube at your own leisure, I hope this was kind of good for you. And they try, like I said, this game has a lot of different... It's spider webs out. So the way that I did it is probably going to differ from yours unless you absolutely want to follow the way I went through, you know, button press by button press. Even when I'd just be walking in a circle because the camera angle was fucking me up. It's possible to do so, but... Uh, have fun with it your own way. I mean, sure, spoilers are plenty as this game gets played through. You'll find out things that, like, maybe you wouldn't have thought of to look for initially. Um, eh, it's just a good game. 
I mean, maybe, maybe next October I'll come back to revisit this thing and we'll try to do things a little better. Or a little worse, or who knows. I'm not even sure my damn self. But all around the board, if you, you know, thanks to those who chipped in and chimed in here live on Twitch, and thanks to those that chip in and chime in on the YouTube side of things as well. But there you have it, Heavy Rain, the finale, that's it, completed, it's done. We got more games here for our October, our Halloween horror video game setup here. So, shoot, what do we got? Yes, I will indeed have myself a good night, Melberries. Thanks so much for checking things out. No question. You're, uh... Y you've been a trooper through this, and how did you even think that Shelby was the guy? I had no sell that the best way I could. To, like, not, oh my god, how did you know it was him? I had to no sell it the entire fucking time. But... Y y you hit the nail early. I don't know how the hell you even figured that, but... The typewriter. That's fair. I- I want to go back and look at that myself. Because, well, I need to see, like, what name brand of the typewriter it was. Because it was on his desk, yes. And I tried to no-sell it, like, well, but he's old, he's got the old fridge, he's, he's got a- he's a typewriter guy. Come on, he's not a texter. He doesn't have a computer. Look at this guy, he's got all this old shit. His car is old. The car, though, the 83, whatever it was, that was never found. Maybe I did something wrong there. Maybe that- that does turn up. I don't really know. Oh well. But, uh... I had to no-sell that the best I could. I knew it was Shelby, I knew. But, uh... Good for checking that one out. And thanks for everybody else for checking things out. I'm gonna roll out. Finally, let's- let's put an end to this. I'm- I'm rambling on this rollout here, like I always do. <laughs> but... We still have more things that we're gonna be taking care of for our Halloween Horror Month, if you will. Maybe it'll last longer than the month of October. But we have a lot more. If this was drama... Ooh, we're gonna get a little more morbid down the line here, if you will. So all things put together, thanks all the way around, everybody. You know what? We got something sitting here, so let's take a quick swig of water. For all the gamer guys and girls out there, hope you enjoyed this one. Heavy rain, big old drink of water. It's fitting, isn't it? Ah, it's fucking tasty. And with that being said, yo! MJ signing out for now. Till we meet again, everybody. I don't know when or where that's exactly going to take place. I'm not even sure what game we'll be playing the next time you and I cross paths. All I do know is that I will indeed catch you down the road. <laughs>